Uh, hello and welcome. Um, following uh, the disaster of, that was the new New Warriors, uh, Marvel dropped X Men: Children of the Atom. Uh, this trailer, <laughs> this this trailer, uh, this is going to be a raw take on this. Uh, we're going to play this and uh, just kind of react as we go through it. So, uh, best of luck <laughs> to me and to all of you. Let's go. There's so many things I could tease about Children of the Atom, but I will say one thing, and that's new characters. X-Men. Wait a minute. New. <laughs> one thing. New characters. Then we flash up uh, this splash of uh, just all redesigned old characters. Uh, we got Lesbian Cyclops. Uh, we've got uh, Hardcore Archangel back here. Um, is this... Uh... <laughs> Oh my god. Nightcrawler with a helmet. Uh, Gambit. What, whatever uh, is going on there. And uh, yeah, we got uh, what uh, I can only assume is uh, a version of Quake. So yeah, new characters. Are you really going to begin with that, dude? Okay, let's, let's keep going. And it's supposed to be something that is, you know, important to the now. And so what is more now than Zoomers? <laughs> Let's see, what the fuck is a Zoomer? <laughs> Am I that out of the know? Yeah, is this the newest generation? They're just going off of Boomers uh, because Boomer, for some, whatever reason, is so popular now. Everyone likes to be, say Boomer this, Boomer that. So now we're going to have Zoomers. Okay, okay. Children of the Atom has five new characters at the heart of it that... That are exactly like five of the old characters. What? <laughs> what is the point? What is the point of this? I don't, I guess I don't understand. Uh, maybe they'll help me. Let's continue. Vita very meticulously wrote out entire backstories and histories and families and anything you want to know about these characters, Vita has uh, thought about it already. One of them has- Okay, Vita, uh, what I would like to know is why are they all identical to existing characters? Uh, why can't you come up with an original concept? That's, uh, these, these are the kinds of questions that I have. Uh, maybe you'll enlighten me, but I doubt it. I doubt it. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to hear a load of shit uh, that it doesn't really pertain to uh, anything other than uh, we don't have any original ideas. So here's uh, <laughs> here's a group of uh, uh, offspring or um, you know descendants, what have you, uh, that are identical to the former characters, except for you know gender swapping and uh, you know the sexual preferences. And all that good stuff that everyone loves so much about Marvel Comics. Has a TikTok. One of them has a fitness Insta. One of them uh, is basically the moderator for the mutant subreddit. <laughs> one of them. Okay, so they're all a bunch of losers. <laughs> That's what you're saying. Uh, so one of them just dances uh, on a camera. You know, probably talking about her no-no space. Um, subreddit. What the? F what the hell? What the actual shit is going on here? Why? You know, I love it when characters are fleshed out, when they're not just superheroes and they have things going on in their daily lives. But what I don't need to see more of is, uh, you know, the usual typical Starbucks crew uh, that I see every single day of my life. Uh, fuck this idea. It's stupid. Um, is a cosplayer uh, and the other one makes mutant music. For so long, it's like the, the larger media in the X-Men universe is like, mutants are bad and like the X-Men are evil because they're mutants and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, what would Zoomers think of that? They wouldn't, they would be like, no, they're great. <laughs> like, Okay, so in other words, there's no, <laughs> there's no story arc. There's no uh, greater purpose uh, being served here. Uh, there's, yeah, everything's just great. Everything's wonderful. Uh, what's the problem? What's the problem? I uh, better have some pretty bitch and supervillains uh, for this if uh, they're going to be the only problem uh, this new group is going to face. Because uh, that, that's kind of a big thing with the X-Men. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> but, uh, you know, the, the constant struggle against public opinion and, uh, you know, oppression and that kind of thing. So now everybody's just automatically accepting their, their mutants are totally cool. Uh, don't worry about it. Just Just run out there. Uh, do your stupid little TikTok on the street corner. Um, you know, sit in Starbucks on your laptop and uh, type away on Reddit. Uh, this sounds like a, a thrilling, just a thrilling, gripping uh, 
<laughs> story. <laughs> uh, just awesome adventures that uh, I can't wait to not buy or read. How the X-Men react to these new characters who are their sidekicks is a major part of the story that is going to have all sorts of ripples through their titles and ours. But also, you know. I wonder how the X-Men would react to these new characters. They would probably say, uh, get the fuck down the road. <laughs> Keep on walking. You're a bunch of pussies and we don't need it. Um, you know, we can already do everything you can do. So why do we need you? Why do we need this fresh group of losers who are probably going to be lazy and neglect their duties uh, and just feel entitled all around. Why do we need that uh, when we can just do it ourselves? That would be the natural reaction, but I'm sure they're going to think they're just the bee's knees. So it's an X-Men comic. There's going to be powers and there's going to be punching and there's going to be bad guys and all that kind of stuff. Was that how we describe, <laughs> how we describe an X-Men comic? There's going to be powers and there's going to be punching and uh, bad guys. Okay, um, just more, <laughs> more evidence as to why Marvel is going down the shitter. Uh, if this is what you got, this is your writer. These are the people making your concepts. Uh, that's what they're giving us. Powers punching bad guys. Yeah, no wonder. Um, <laughs> Marvel isn't going to last much longer. That's obvious. Uh, Marvel Comics, anyway. I'm sure the MCU will uh, will go on for quite some time uh, until they start bringing these pathetic characters onto the big screen. And then you're going to watch the MCU die as well. So, yeah, I guess just keep what, doing what you're doing, Marvel. And uh, bleed this garbage into Marvel Studios so you can tank that too. Uh, who needs to make money? You're only a corporation. I'm very excited to have Vita Ayala and Bernard Chang as part of this title. Bernard really, really brought the thunder on this. It's really incredibly dynamic. Because he not only had to design these superhero identities, but also these civilian identities and like people's moms and like their little brother. And he's making these characters real and whole in a way that a lot of artists probably couldn't. Why are we talking about this like it's something new? Everything they just described has been going on for decades. Okay, so we got a new artist on here. He's, he's very dynamic, and he's you know designing stuff. That's uh, that's kind of what artists are for, <laughs> if I'm uh, not mistaken. So yeah, uh, they just keep they keep doing this. They keep rolling in to existing franchises that are awesome. Uh, they take them, they bend them over, and they they put their diseased peckers in the buttholes of these franchises. And uh, what comes out is uh, an asshole abortion baby, uh, just like this. <laughs> and then they try to sit there and tell you that this is all brand new. It's never been done before. Uh, this is going to be very exciting. This, this rip-off franchise is going to be very exciting uh, when they're just going to be sitting around over coffee talking about uh, the, their period, probably. Can't wait. X-Men was some of my first comics ever, and to be able to play in that universe and also to add to that universe is, is really a dream come true. So if you've never read an X-Men book before and you're only familiar with them in other mediums, this is a great place to start off. It's almost like... No. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it is not. Do not take this man's advice. The kids are our perspective, so anything that you don't know, you're discovering it through these kids. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, uh, there's this Quake dude back here. Is he related to Trailblazer? <laughs> What is going on here? Why has everyone got to be fucking fat? Why? I don't think we've seen this perspective in X-Men comics before. And I think people are going to super dig it. I think you're wrong. That's pretty much, yeah, that's it. That's, that's my take on this. I think you're wrong. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please uh, leave a thumbs up. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, does this look like a good idea uh, to just rip off powers and... Uh, you know, slap <laughs> laser eyes on a lesbian. Um, I don't know. <laughs> it looks like shit to me. But uh, let me know what you think. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Join the gays community. Uh, we're building an empire here. So please be a part of it. Um, yeah, we'll catch you on the, the next video. Uh, hopefully it won't be as depressing as this one. Peace.